welcome to Coffee and Devotions this Monday morning, September 21st. This is where every weekday morning at 9 a.m. and on the weekends when I'm able to grab a moment away from my kids, you and I, we get together, we have some coffee, we get into God's Word, and we grow in our love for the Lord together. And this year, 2020, we'll make it through all the Gospels. This morning we are at Luke chapter 12, verses 35 down through 40. Let's go ahead and have some coffee, pray, and get into God's Word. pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for the rich blessing it is to get to come to you. Lord, we pray that we would be eager and ready and waiting for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Here we go. Luke chapter 12, beginning at verse 35. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. And you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch, or come in the third watch and find them. So blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Well, we need to ask ourselves, A, what is this about? B, What is the best verse to summarize this section? And C, what are we called to do in response to these words? A, what is this about? we got to be ready for Jesus to come back. That's how I would summarize it in the margin of my Bible. That's what I would write in the margin of my Bible. I need to be ready for Jesus to come back. This is exactly what Jesus is talking about here. I'm going to just go ahead and jump from A to C, skip B, and let you know that Jesus wants you to be watchful and ready. Jesus wants you to be ready for when He comes. He is going to come again. Don't fall for all this stuff when, oh, maybe this is going on, and maybe that's going on, and, and oh, look at this stuff with Israel, and oh, oh all the signs are coming together, and, and Jesus is going to come back next week. If Jesus was coming back next week, we wouldn't know it, because He's coming like a thief in the night. We don't It's when we don't expect it, but he is coming. He is going to return again. We've been waiting for it for 2,000 years, but it might be another 2,000 before he comes. It might be tonight. Will he find us watching? Will we be about the kingdom of heaven? Do you remember yesterday's passage? Yesterday's passage was about, for where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. Will Jesus come back and find you building bigger barns? Will Jesus come back finding you working harder hours to get a bigger job or a better car or a nicer combine or whatever it happens to be and not paying attention to your soul, not being about your Father's work for the kingdom? What is Jesus going to come back and find you doing? If He came back right now, this morning, would He have found you watching? What's the best verse to summarize this section? Well, I'm going to underline verse 40. There you go. I said it yesterday. I said, oh, I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to underline one verse. Ha! I proved myself wrong. Verse 40, therefore you also be ready. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Jesus is, is using Daniel language here. He is the Son of Man and He is going to come in the clouds. He's going to come with glory, and He's going to judge, and He is going to inaugurate an eternal kingdom. Will we be ready? Let's pray. Father, we thank You so much for this day. We pray, Lord, that You would let us be diligent about Your work, that we would not be lazy people in Your vineyard, but that we would be ready and watchful and working, that our treasure, our heart would be for Your kingdom, for Your Son, and that You would find us busy about your work, that you might say, well done, good and faithful servant. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Well, if this video is helpful to you, I'd encourage you to hit the like or love button and share it. Facebook really likes those types of things. YouTube likes it as well. So feel free to do that if I've earned it. But for this morning, I pray that you go forth the rest of the day ready for Jesus Christ to return with grace and peace in your heart that he is your Savior. Bye.